This is the Negro Ninja. And today I just want to talk about how I noticed that the internet is pretty much flooding people with the recommendation to watch the Tiger King. Okay, the internet is really hyping this show. Okay, and you know it's hype when it gets to what I look at. Okay, I was watching this one chick on YouTube that talk about gang stalking or whatever. Okay, and she started talking about the show. Okay, basically saying how she can relate to the show because she has been through a lot of the stuff that the Carol Baskins lady has been through. Okay, meaning that the harassment that the uh, the dude of the star of the show is doing to her, she has been through herself. Okay, um. And she was basically like, the show is just about narcissism and egotistical people, you know, that just go to the extremes to get back at each other and this, that, and this. And they was doing this type of stuff. Dude was leaving dead iguanas in the ladies walkway and et cetera, like just doing all types of crazy stuff. I said, you know what, I'm going to check this out. Okay. Just to see what, you know, you know, she made it sound interesting. Okay. And as I check out the show, you know, they draw you in by showing you somebody selling a snow leopard out of a, in the back of his van. Okay. And the dude was like, do you have to refrigerate him? Or, and I'm like, this is kind of funny. <laughs> I can't believe this. You know, just how they describe this it, is just funny. Um, and they just hype up the star of the show is Joe Exotic. Okay. Basically saying that he's more or less like a cartoon character or whatever, you know, he's just insane and off the wall, you know, he does what he want to do and etc. Okay, now that's how they hyping him up at the beginning and stuff. And they talking about the ex exotic cat trading, you know, um, or just the exotic animal trading in general, people selling snakes and other poisonous stuff and crazy stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, this is different. All right. Seems entertaining so far. Okay. Then they start talking more about Joe Exotic. Okay. After they start, you know, elaborating on the exotic trade, animal trade mess. Okay. Then when they really start talking about Joe Exotic, they was like, yeah, he's eccentric. He's a rainbow zombie crazy person. This. I'm like, rainbow zombie. I'm like, whatever. The nigga Rainbow Zombie, whatever. This documentary is about the feud between him and Carol Baskins. Okay. So somebody else started talking about him. Then once again, Rainbow Zombie coming up. I'm like, y'all really y'all really driving home the point that this nigga's a Skittle. Okay, and I I think it was about like three people that said, you know, similar stuff in a row. Yeah, he's crazy and this, that, and this. He's Rainbow Zombie. All right, whatever. Let me just watch the documentary. So, um... Then it goes to talk about Carol Baskins and they've kind of like elaborating on what's going on between those two and um, what the feud is about. Um, some of the stuff they was doing and some of the stuff they was doing was pretty funny because she sued him for a million dollars and he can't pay back the money. So she started asking for items and this nigga is so petty that he didn't want to give her an item. She wanted his watch or something. And he went as far as to blow it up. Okay, and I'm like, this is this is some niggerish stuff right here, okay. And once again, it just seemed funny, like some stupid Simpsons family guy type nonsense, Looney Tunes mess. Okay, and um... <laughs> you know, they just draw you into it even more with this silliness, okay. Then they start talking about Joe Exotic a little bit more where he starts talking about himself. And the first thing I heard him describe about himself is his rainbow zombiness and when he became one and when he, you know, basically gave into it. I'm like, I didn't, I don't know, what is this about? Is this about a feud between you and Carol Baskins or you being taken over by the devil? I don't remember clicking on something to see when a nigga was taken over by the devil. I, ain't, I don't remember asking for this. What's going on with this? And I just decided to turn it off. I'm like, I see what y'all trying to do. Okay. I see what y'all trying to do. But to be honest with you, I really wanted to know what the heck was going on between him and Carol Baskins. So I decided to go online and look at reviews. Okay. 
And one of the first reviews I saw, you know, um, seemed to be a podcast with a black dude. And he seems like a normal black dude that you would probably tune into if you just happened to stumble upon him. Okay, he seemed like a cool heterosexual dude. Okay. And he started talking about the show. Oh, yeah, that dude, they're crazy, man. This the, this is the craziest stuff ever. Netflix don't just give you simple documentaries. They give you the most effed up documentaries. I'm like, okay, it's funny how you're describing it. Okay. Drawing you into it. I'm like, this is funny. Okay, drawing you into his, um, you know, podcast. And then he starts talking about Joe Exotic. Yeah, this crazy cowboy and rainbow zombie. I was like, why does everybody keep... You know, putting emphasis on the fact that this nigga is a rainbow zombie. Okay. And I wanted to hear him talk about what was basically happening because I didn't want to watch it because you already know they're doing that little Skittle stuff. I don't play that Skittle stuff. So um, he didn't even want to tell the spoilers. He was like, you know, there's going to be that one thing I don't spoil. Watch that S yourself. And I was like, okay. So I, and I already sensed this at the beginning. I'm like, he's trying to draw you into it. Like, people do what the system tries to do as well. Okay, he's trying to pull you into it. Basically saying, I'm watching, trying to pique my interest. Because once again, the show does have you engaged. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't want to watch it. But I do want to know what's happening. Okay. So, um, and the thing is, I want to know what's happening without them shoving that Skittle stuff in my face. Okay. <laughs> And everybody that talk about it, except for this one white guy, okay, who I saw right after this, if he said something about it, he's kind of kept it, you know, as a matter of fact. He wouldn't stand on it, trying to glamorize it or nothing. He was just basically saying, yeah, it's about this dude who's a, this type of dude or whatever, and just describe what he was. Okay, that, that was that, and that was it. And he was like, yeah, the show is really just about narcissists and egotistical maniacs that don't know their place and do... Basically saying what the lady said, you know, who got me to watch, you know, the first 10 minutes of it. Okay. And I'm like, okay, that's an honest review. Okay, that's cool. Now I want to know exactly what was happening between him and Carol Baskins in the documentary. So I searched for the synopsis. Okay. And, you know, they was talking in a matter of fact term too, you know, just the details. And it is what it is. But they wasn't focusing on it. They were just kind of telling you you know, play by play what was happening, whatever. Or um what what the what they deemed the most important parts of it. And once again, Rainbow Zombies did come up though, even though this person wasn't glamorizing it or nothing. They were just saying it, you know. But um you know, they was talking about this happening and that happening and the beef between him and Carol Baskins. Then this popped up, okay, about his lifestyle being in more depth and i was like so that's what this is about i knew i made the correct decision to stop watching when it got to that point on the actual netflix documentary because it seems like they just talk about the silly stuff and the drama and then sprinkle some skittles in there and then talk about the drama and the drama and then sprinkle some skittles and then talk about the drama and, you know that's what it seemed like I, I don't have to watch it to peep what they doing okay and they think they slick so they was talking about this dude's lifestyle. And I was like, oh, so he's a rainbow zombie times five. Okay. And I don't really want to say it because it's really disgusting. But let's just say that if a man was polygamous, okay, if a straight man was polygamous, they would skin him alive and rake him over the coal. Okay. So I was reading the comments and I seen women admiring this dude for being a, a a rainbow zombie polygamist okay and she was basically saying oh he got that many and she was basically saying she can't even get one study nigga and I was like, like every time I watch a heterosexual video talking about a polygamous man okay chicks in the comments be trying to curse that nigga with just witchcraft with just bad comments you know they be trying to vex him that nigga hex him <laughs> they be wishing the worst on him you know 
they dang near wish death on him. I, I think some of them actually do wish death on a man that has multiple wives. Okay. And 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 the, and the funny part about this, you know, like if you go to an Amish video or something and you see the man with the multiple young girls and stuff, they'll be in the comments saying all types of stupid stuff. And, you know, they don't got nothing to say about a rainbow zombie. Okay, and this right here also proves what this show is trying to do. Okay, because remember, they start off by hyping him up. Oh, he's this cartoon character. This dude here is funny. This, you know, more or less paraphrase what they're saying, though. But um, they hyping him up. You know, he does what he wants to do and this, that, and this. Then when you start listening to the show or whatever, or watching it, then you see what, you know, that they just sprinkle some Skittles here and there because you engaged. You know, they, they they string you along. You must be getting hungry. Here's some candy. I'm like, nah, I'm good. But um your average person, yeah, yeah, just keep it going. It's funny. Okay. And that's what the whole thing is about because a lot of people that review the show or even talk about it, you know, will say, I didn't want to watch this, but I ended up watching it. They all say it's addicting. And it really is. Okay, it really is. And they think they're watching, you know, a, a case, you know, but they're really watching a program trying to condition them to believe that the Skittles lifestyle. Um, and hold on, let me be careful how I say that because they think they slick. Okay, they think they slick, but they basically trying to get them to like the Skittles lifestyle. Okay. Basically telling them that, you know, they can do what they want to do. Because remember how they was hyping him up at first. Then you also have to remember that he ran, um, Joe Exotic ran for president in 2016. And I was like, oh, man, he's, you know, because I don't know who the heck he is. And I just saw the um, the campaign ad during the synopsis that I was watching. And I was like, oh, yeah, that nigga did run for president, you know. And he was basically hyping himself up the same way in his campaign. I'm not no typical president. I'm not going to be in there wearing a suit. I'm going to be dressed the way I am doing this. And people, you know he wasn't going to win that election. But he did place third, though. And that's kind of weird. Kind of funny. <clears throat> but um, that's he did extremely well, you know. <laughs> for, for that type of campaign he was doing. Okay. And that right there just tells you a lot. That was planting seeds with that. Because he didn't just blow up overnight with no Netflix documentary. Okay. He did not just blow up. Okay. There is a method to how they try to program people. Okay. And then going back to this rainbow zombie polygamous stuff. Okay. They started talking about that. Okay. In the synopsis. But they didn't stay on it. They just mentioned it and kept it moving. But like I said, it was chicks in the comments praising that dude for that while they would curse a straight man for having five wives. Okay. The girls thought that he was just a king for it. Okay. Real disgusting, you know. Okay. And since women think that's cool, okay, this is also designed to tell, you know, a straight man, oh, women like it. Okay, that's what they're trying to do. Okay. Then on top of that, the dudes that he, you know, I don't, I, I don't really want to say it. But the point is, it turns out that the dudes is supposedly straight. I'm like, how the heck they going to be with this dude and be straight? That's another subliminal. Okay, they're trying to tell you some stupid stuff like that, telling you. That you is one of them. That's what they're trying to say. They think they slick. Okay. They're basically telling you that y'all are, you know, they're trying to tell straight people that they're too uptight. And, you know, I ain't, I don't have to say it. You know, you, you can catch this yourself. Okay. They think they slick. Okay. They think they slick. But that's what this show really is about. Okay. Okay, and once again, when I saw the show for 10 minutes, um, and I think that was like yesterday or the day before yesterday, um, 
And then that's when I started seeing more of him. You know, I did see him one time prior on a t-shirt that somebody made $11,000. I'm like, why the heck? It, I'm like, who is this guy? And why would people buy this shit? How you make $11,000 with this nigga's face? That's weird. I sell shirts with holes. If that's the case, I should be able to make at least 10 times that much just selling one of them holes on my shirt. I mean, what niggas want to buy that nigga's face for? You know, no disrespect though, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Okay. So, yeah, there's, uh, no, he's a rainbow zombie. Yeah, after that nigga. Yeah, I forgot. But yeah, man. So, that is basically what they're trying to do. They're trying to low key send a message out to straight men, you know, telling you, what are y'all so scared of? He's over here having fun. <laughs> and they did have a um a heterosexual polygamous person in the show too. But like I said, I didn't watch the actual show, so I don't you know, I didn't really hear people talk about him in the comments. Okay. All the focus was on the main character who is the rainbow zombie eccentric. Okay. And I, once again, I had to make sure. I'm like, you know what? I ain't, this show is really about a rainbow zombie. And it seemed like they low-key trying to make him seem fun and likable. I ain't really trying to entertain that. You know, because like if you're watching a TV show, okay, and you see somebody for a long time, then you, you know, you kind of get familiar with them. You know, they're just trying to make this type of stuff familiar and it's um, they're trying to desensitize you to it. Okay, and you might even start liking people or something, you know, like, oh, this nigga's cool or something. I'm like, nah, I can't be supporting that type of stuff. You know, well, nobody's perfect. You know, he is hilarious. That's how they try to get y'all. Oh, he's a cool dude. So I'm like, I'm not trying to entertain that mess. Okay. And once again, that's what it's designed to do. You know, they try to make them niggas likable. Um, they're trying to make them likable. Okay. And they're trying to get you in too deep. All it takes is a inch. A uh, inch, okay. <sighs> All right, and there's a reason why God says not to partake in you know stuff like that. All right, Ephesians five seven. All right, be ye not, no, no, be not ye, therefore partakers with them, for ye were sometimes darkness, but now. Are ye light in the Lord? Walk as children of the light. Okay. Once again, I'm telling you, man, they, they try to get you used to these people. And you're like, oh, I like him. He's cool. Okay. Then once you start liking these type of people, then, you know, they're going to start trying to introduce, you know, the actions of those people. Well, if you want to become closer, you know, more friendly with us, you're going to have to do at least a little bit. You know, it ain't bad to do this. Okay. And then if you are insane enough to do it, then you're pretty much done at that point. Okay, you're pretty much done by even going that far as to like the person anyway. <laughs> okay, and that's how they, they just hook you. Get, get over here, nigga. All right, and proof of what they're trying to do. You know, somebody actually tried me in a bold way on one of my videos. Um, I was looking for it, but I think he deleted it. But somebody was coming at me, you know, Talking about some the harassment he put quotations. I guarantee you the harassment will stop if you just start telling them hey. Okay. Then they'll leave you alone. And maybe then you could donate to a rainbow zombie charity. I'm like, first of all, he commented at me by saying, Oh, just start saying hey to them. Okay, but that's not enough. Okay. Then he telling me I should start donating to one of their charities. See, they don't I'm telling you. Okay. They get an inch from the country and they want the whole world and they want everybody. Okay. You can't play with this type of stuff. Okay. And once again, like even the black dude that was describing it, which is ironic because the, based off what I'm seeing, the white folks wasn't really stuck on the fact that they weren't really glamorizing the fact that the dude is a rainbow zombie um, outside the documentary. Based off of what I saw in them two reviews, but um, that's weird. They wasn't trying to, oh man, you need to watch yourself. They weren't trying to bait you. It was that one, I don't know what it is <laughs> about, you know, having to watch black people when you're black. You, can, you can't play with them. 
But um, that's crazy. And what pissed me off about that one dude not wanting to spoil it. Okay, you know how many times I have seen the ending to Infinity Wars when I didn't ask for it? I'd just be in a comment, probably in a Resident Evil video or something. You'll scroll down, let me see what these niggas saying about this review. People talking about Infinity Wars. They talking about just whatever Marvel movies out at the time. I'm like, dang, a nigga can't a nigga can't even speculate on going to see a movie before it's spoiled. I'm like, I wasn't even thinking about seeing it yet. Niggas already spoiled it for me, but they don't want to spoil that. They don't want to spoil that Joe Exotic mess. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's how you know this the devil. Okay. Now, when they when people spoil something for you, they're trying to take the fun out of it. Okay. For the most part. Okay. Because you go to a movie to be engaged. You know, you're trying to go on this journey, this roller coaster ride in the movie. Okay. You may learn some things from this movie. Okay. And when you're new to something, you really take in, you know, a lot more. You process it, you know, in a different way because that's something you want to actually do. You want to see this movie. So they said, go and see Tiger King. I don't want to spoil it. Okay. Because they're trying to get you on that roller coaster ride. Okay. But it's a workshop. You know, you're going through this tunnel on a roller coaster thing. And there may be like this little room or bar. You know how it be on the Batman ride or whatever. And then you come out brainwashed. They're trying to low-key do that. Like these people, the hive mind is something serious. And, you know, everybody don't act like this when they have a hive mind. They don't always necessarily do that. They look like they normal. All right, but that's all I got to say for this rant. And this has been the Negro Ninja bringing you your Negro message for today. Negro out.